Now, everybody, the Microsoft Flight Simulator has just achieved a new level of ridiculous realism with the new Phoenix Sim A320 series update. And let me tell you, it is quite crazy. You know, for years now, when people ask me, well, Swiss, what should be like the first add-on I buy, like a good value for money add-on? I always say, dude, buy the A320s from Phoenix Sim. I mean, if you buy the thing for 50 pounds, you get the most realistic add-on aircraft that there is for the Microsoft Flight Sim world. It's renowned for having incredibly good textures, in my opinion, the best textures of any flight sim, as well as having an incredible system depth, which can be extremely exciting when you're, you know, trying to really simulate what an Airbus is really like to fly. Just the fact that we have 288 working circuit breakers. Yes, isn't that just ridiculous? How you can render the wiper um, dead by, uh, there you go. It's turned on right now. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Wiper captain has just been turned off and so it doesn't work. And today we have got a new level of that. Three days ago, they came up with a big Phoenix update. Here's a YouTube video explaining it. 30 minutes of features. It's insane and 135,000 views. They're extremely popular. And what this update gives us in the Microsoft Flight Sim 2024, as you can see, we're walking around with our extremely skinny character, is that for the first time, the walk around mode finally makes sense because they have made this plane walk aroundable. Let's take a look. You know, this is kind of a cool scenario that people that do their pilot's license stream off. It's early in the morning here somewhere in the Caribbean and we're first to fly this airplane. Right now, the door is shut, but we do have stairs. Let's go ahead and walk up into our airplane indeed. And here he is walking this. Oh, that's a very fast. Yeah, you're a fast step climber. And in order to open this aircraft door, we do it like in real life. Push this button right there and then pull the handle. Pull the handle right there. That releases a little bit of stairs to make space here for the door itself. And then we have to pull quite hard on this thing to actually open it. There's a lot of inertia here. And now the door is locked in place and we can now walk into our airplane. Let's open the cockpit door, which as of right now is open. And let's sit down. We press the sit down button for that. And look at this cockpit right here. You can see the screens are a little bit dirty from all the spit of the pilots. In fact, for this update, they reworked all the cockpit texture. Here's them explaining what they did. But in MSFS, the gauge surface responds much more like a typical LCD and it'll actually lose contrast in these scenarios. To work around this, we started by physically modeling the separate layers of the physical item itself and then its respective surface properties. And then we built up the way that light propagates through both the front and the back and how all these various light sources may impact the displays. We're really happy with how yeah. it looks. Yes, complete remodel of the uh, cockpit apparently, which is weird because the cockpit was very good before. Like, the thing is with them, they keep releasing updates for this airplane, even though they don't charge any extra for it, you know? They are definitely not a money-hungry company, and no other flight sim developer would say, oh, let's put a brand new cockpit into a plane for free. Especially not PMDG that charges $70 for any new airplane that you buy. Either way, let's go ahead and turn on this airplane here, the battery. But we're going to stay, um, you know, on the ground for a little while. So let's not turn on the APU yet. You know, the little engine in the back that provides electricity to the systems. And obviously, it's an engine and that, you know, uses fuel. We don't want to use fuel. So let's go ahead and connect a GPU ground power unit. Um, The thing is, though. That obviously isn't available because we haven't got any connected. So we need to walk outside the airplane again. Let's do that. To that, do that, we grab our jacket, which we've just done. And it's time to walk out. Come walk. I'm a, this guy's a bit confused. Time to walk down the stairs. We can actually run, I figured out, in the Microsoft Flight Sim. And let's do the GPU connection manually. To do that, we need to access the GPU access door. Ground electric connection. Let's go ahead and open this. And this is definitely a new update. Never seen before in the Microsoft Flight Sim. Plug in GPU. Plug in that. As you can see, we've got a available light coming on. We've got lots of little buttons where we can test the lights or even call the cockpit. And as you can see, this diesel generator is now working. Let's get back upstairs now and quickly turn that on. And that powers on our systems and our iPads as well. And look at those screens doing the magic. Insane. See, this is quite special because in most flight simulation models, you don't walk around. You don't interact with a plane outside. You don't do outside checks. It's only the cockpit that's really simulated. And here we really have the outside model that's properly simulated. I mean, look, we can spin the fan blades, though we have to get a bit closer here. Spin it. Come on, spin them. 
Yep, we spin them. They're very heavy to spin, but here we can, you know, inspect every single fan blade. That's what you do before flying. Yeah, come on, let me see if we can get it started. Maybe this plane's gonna take off if we do. Probably not. And we can stop this by holding the spinner. Insane. Now, obviously, things like chocks have to be and can be removed by hand as well, individually. And for the first time here, we're really being able to even appreciate the art modeling of this plane. It's absolutely insane. Now, some big other new feature definitely is the cargo doors. Because not only are you able to jump into the role of the pilot, but also as the ground handler. Let's go and see if we can open this door right here. Front cargo door handler. Handle. This is how it works. You push this button and you pull then on it. Yeah, great. And that opens slightly. But oh no, why can't we at this door stuck now? We can't open it. Why? Because this airplane's doors is hydraulically operated. Meaning for the doors to open, we need to read the instructions. Unlock door. We've done that already. And then number two, move manual selector valve to open. Where is that? Here in the cargo door selector panel. There you can see that we have this lever right here. With this, we can open the door. Yeah, for that, the airplane needs to be electrically turned on. As you can see, this works just fine. We can hear a noise and boom. We got to bring it up all the way. It shakes a little bit and now we can access the cargo door. But you know, it's very early in the morning. We don't have a lot of light. So let's quickly go ahead and turn on the light here. As you can see, the enunciator says that the cargo door is open. And as you can see, the light works too. Now that goes along for this as well. The rear door for the rear cargo. Here's a small panel, cargo door selector. Push that handle and that opens the thing. But the thing is, we need to definitely open this door all the way until it locks into actual place. Because otherwise, if we just let go right now, gravity will take care of closing that door again. Because hydraulics are not being put in anymore. And so you can see, slowly, this thing starts to sink again. We need to open it all the way. Can you see that? It's sinking. It's sinking by gravity, and that is absolutely cool. Now, granted, in terms of flight simulation, this is just kind of a cool gimmick and not really anything you would really do as captain power flying, because that's what the ground staff does, but it's so ridiculous that the plane's able to do that. Obviously, let's also open the bulk cargo door. So we need to release that door handle and then we can open it and push it up again like that. Wonderful. By our own bare hands. This is not hydraulically operated. Now, let's get ready for flying. But of course, we need to fuel up the aeroplane. So let's quickly do that. One of the ways we can do it is obviously from the iPad and the cockpit or from the fuel panel. So here you go. Open the fuel panel. And here's something that I've only seen once before in any add on aircraft for any flight sim. It is the challenge. Challenger 650 for X plane. Super realistic airplane, but here we can actually refuel the airplane ourselves. I just don't quite know how to do it. I think mode select is refuel. Okay, and then we can refuel the plane. Yep, there we go. Fuel in our left tank is increasing as we can see. Maybe also fuel up the center tanks. We've pre-selected three tons of fuel and we're loading them in right now. Now that is extremely cool. Once again, not really a thing a pilot would do. But hey, you know, I don't mind this at all. Maybe in the future we can have proper ground handling uh, add-on for the Microsoft Flight Sim where we can destroy luggage. Uh, 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 uh. It's a shame though that none of this is connected to an actual fuel truck that shows up. This is like a magical wireless charging for fuel. Though it has to be said that Phoenix aren't done with modeling this walk around mode. Now let's do a little bit of an interesting challenge. Let's go ahead and maybe remove the chocks only from the right main landing gear and just see what happens uh, if we uh, actually leave them in place here. All right, refueling is ongoing and there luckily is more to crouch. Oh my God, I, I, you know what? Uh, because another thing we have is this up here, the hydraulics panel. Let's go ahead and open that. And here we have an interesting lever. Let's go ahead and uh, do, um, just push that. And as you can see, something that comes up is the landing gear door panel. What a funny feature to have. Am I right, sir? walking away. He's not excited at all about this. Once again, this airplane is the first plane to have these kind of ridiculousness of features. Let's open the other landing gear door as well. And we can see that in action right there. Wonderful. And we can do an inspection here of this rusty airplane. This is from the center landing gear. I wish we could adjust the field of view here in the outside camera because I feel like it's quite narrow. Now, what else is there? Rammer turbine. Oh, here's where the Rammer turbine is stowed. And 
and here we can see the Remar turbine actually set in place. Uh, I have an idea. How about we just bring it out, you know? Just show it. Deploy Rammer Turbine right there. And we've done that now. As you can see, it has come out the Rammer Turbine. Look at the modeling. Look at this character just admiring it. Mm is extremely funny. Anyway, this has not reached extreme, extreme ridiculousness. I mean, if you could make it more ridiculous, you should be able to stow the Rammer Turbine back in place. After all, it's very simply spring-loaded, I think, on the A320. So you'd be able to actually push it back in and close this door right here. Hello, sir. Can't close it for us. Now, meanwhile, as you can see, we've got plenty of fuel on board. We've added 3.0 tons. So let's, so let's go ahead and close it here. Put it to norm. Mode should be off. Good. And uh, let's just close this door. We're good now. For we shall start flying. Let's go ahead and close the... Uh, there you go. That's how you do it. And lock it back in place. Good. And you know what? Let's just not close all the other stuff. Uh, let's just go ahead and quickly rush into the airplane. And let's go ahead and close the door. For that, we need to release the gust lock, which holds it in place. And then we can... Yes, slide the door. Slide the door. Yes. And now we can close it. Works like this. And now we have to arm it in order for it to be locked and for the slide to be armed. Good. And let's get into the cockpit. Close that door behind us. Let's lock it. Perfect. Let's turn on the APU really quick. And we're waiting for that to become available. And we can hear the APU come on. We can see a little bit of that exhaust gas. Perfect. Now, here we can also remove the GPU. Like, oh, that wasn't the smart. Oh, luckily the APU is available. Ground prayer unit is gone. Let's go and also remove the stairs. And let's see if I can turn on this airplane really quick. This is not a realistic flight at all. APU bleed on and ignition on and engine number two on. After all, this is an airbus. This should be simple enough. Uh, and yes, as you can see, that is coming on. Beautiful. Engine number two is nicely starting up. We're about to suck in a cone and a person. Great kill death ratio. And now that that's turned on, let's turn on engine number one as well. Beautiful. Good. Engine number one is turning on as well. This airplane is a bit pissed off that we've not closed the doors, nor the landing gear doors, actually. Very interesting. But hey, look at that. The engines are on. Let's go and release the parking brake and see if we can see if we can taxi. We can turn the APU off again. And this should work. Let's see if we can start taxiing. After all, though, remember, we've got one of the chocks in place. Uh, let's see if we can taxi in any way. Come on, full power? Nope. Okay, that is not simulated when one piece of chocks is still in place. Nah, we should somehow be able to free us out of our position. Maybe like turn left or something. In real life, here we can just remove the chocks from the iPad. Look at that. And we can now taxi with our immensely broken airplane. I wonder what happens if we take out with the door open. <laughs> all right. We're not treating this airplane realistically at all. This is a very stupid video. We've not done any flight planning, done any speeds input. Doesn't matter. All we need is flaps and a little, little bit of love. And then we can take off. Got the included Microsoft flights in 2024. Shut. I don't. I really don't care. Switch frequency, please. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now let's take out full power into the A320 by Phoenix Sim. Let's see if we're able to take out with the doors open. Yes. As you can see, very slowly these engines are spooling up. That takes a bit of a while, like in real life. We've got 80 knots on the clock, and we can put our nose up a little bit, and then we can uh, depart. Look at that. We've taken off the A320 with the door open. Let's go ahead and uh, pause the right landing gear up like that. Landing gear up. Let's see if the landing gear door actually comes up now, finally. Look at our beautiful sunset departure. And look at the wing flex we have on this airplane. This feels very, very nice. Taking off into the morning wings. We can see the rammer turbine is out. Um, the hydraulic doors are still open. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. This plane won't simulate you being stupid. Sadly, though, I cannot close the doors from here. So that can't be good. So let's maybe reload the flight. See, Phoenix gives us lots of different airplanes to actually spawn into. The CFM version or the IAE version, both in the SL and WF mode. I have no idea what, what do you... I know what the difference is. Anyway, now on Phoenix, you can actually download 600 or so liveries as well. So you don't have to stick with this. All right, now welcome to the IAE versions of the engines. And they do sound differently. Look at the full power sound. Beautiful. I don't know how you look at sound. Anyway, this plane feels a little bit weird. Why? Because for some reason, the fly-by-wire doesn't work, which is why our flight controller is now in direct alternate law. Uh, I don't know why that's... I don't even know why that's failed. Let's try to reactivate it. 
And this is very interesting about this airplane, especially, you know, the Airbus system is so different compared to Boeing as well. Like here, you're, you're given a checklist of what to do. Let's turn the FAC2 on and off again, you know, recycle it, and then it should work again. Yes. And now we've got the fly-by-wire system back. I don't know why that failure just happened, but it can happen in real life. Shut up. Also, the ramming turbine is out again. I don't know why that is. Now, why am I doing a landing now? It's because they have vastly reworked the Microsoft Flight Simulator model, and especially the landing model. Oh my god, ATC, shut up. See, Microsoft Flight Simulator has been pretty hard to land planes smoothly, and they always look a little bit like toys, and this update is supposed to fix it all together. Let's go ahead and see if we can finally do a good landing. Now, actually, this plane feels very direct now, and it feels like it's supposed to feel with the Airbus. Like, I can really tell a difference. Obviously, you won't be able to see that on screen now. I still have no idea why the Ram our turbine is out now. It's kind of weird. Now, here we are at Prince Juliana. We're battling with a lot of tailwind. And what's immersive about it is that I can really feel it. Like, it feels like we shouldn't be landing with this tailwind. It feels like we're getting a push from the back. They have really done a good job on reworking on the flight dynamic. Let's see if I can land smoothly with this plane. Just call me a retard. Very realistic. Come on, let's do a smooth landing. On oh, that for the first time felt actually relatively good. Let's go ahead and uh, slow down the airplane now. Let's go full into the brakes and see what happens then. Yes, come on, Phoenix A320, slow down. Max braking has happened and we've braked in a very short time. Wonderful. So this has truly been a wonderful new update of this plane. Hold up, put the evacuation horn on, yes. And you can see them being active and the door is open too. Yeah, a wonderful new update by Phoenix Sim. Um, probably the best Microsoft Flight Sim add-on out there. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.